Hello, E.L. Fink here, back for another E.L. Show. It's a good one, so let's get to it. E.L. Show. E.L. Fink. Let's get drawn. Starting with a baseball hat. This this hat is on a on a on a frog a frog humanoid, um, and I'm not sure how frogs wear hats. Specifically, this is the Loveland frog, um, the uh, cryptid supposedly seen in Loveland, Ohio. Trying to figure out, he needs to be holding a staff, and I'm trying to figure out the best way to do that, have the lines not overlap uh, in a way I don't want them to. All right. 
leveling frog holding the, holding the staff. Uh, I think there was like some electrical properties to it. So draw some lightning bolts. I think with the original sighting, maybe there was three of these little humanoid frogs. I, I, I say little, little for, for a person, but big for a frog. I want to say it was like three feet or something. Um, one account I heard was that it was in reality just uh, an iguana with its tail missing, but uh, frog people are more fun. Public access royalty, David Lee Hart with Ghost Frog. I moved to Park Forest, Illinois, and I saw the strangest man. He was a green frog, staring and looking at me. He says, what are you doing here? This was my territory. I was here before you and your parents too. Why don't you get out of here and leave me alone? What are you doing in this home? I'm a ghost dog looking at you. And my body you can see through. I'm a dead dog looking at you. I come from another dimension too I'm a ghost frog that's painted green I used to live in a fish tank But you didn't feed me and I died now I'm a dead ghost frog looking at you I'm a dead frog looking at you You have pretty attractive sisters too I make the dolls move up and down like they're puppets in my hand. I'm a ghost dog looking at you. I'm looking at you all the time. I'm not made out of solid matter. I glow in the dark. All right, let's add some color. This, I think it's called Coco. Looks like a, um, I don't know, a very light tan to me. Most of this is not going to be seen. Most of it's just background, but I thought it would look good on the belly.
Had some green, Nile green they're calling it. And now it seems like it's running out of ink. Hopefully we can get enough green out of it. sure if I'll be able to pull this off or not but I'm going for kind of a well I'm going for a red hat since he's from Loveland Ohio and I think that's much, much closer to Cincinnati than Cleveland, um, and I like the Reds better than the Guardians. Um, the Reds have a good mascot, Mr. Redlegs. Um, he seems like an evil Mr. Matt, and Mr. Matt's my absolute favorite.
I've been thinking about Mr. Matt, as I often do, and uh, to a lesser extent, Mr. Red Legs. So Mr. Matt was the first, like, uh, in-person mascot in baseball, like professional baseball. He was the first, like, to actually physically be there. Um, but I think Mr. Red Legs appeared in graphics prior to Mr. Met, but Mr. Bet was the first to appear in real life. So I, I just, I don't know which one should be credited as, as coming first, because they seem very similar, um, and it seems kind of like a ripoff, and I'm wondering who, who gets to claim the idea. Um, and when in doubt, I'll go with Mr. Met. Kind of a metallic brownish gold for the staff. I'm going to throw some more green on here, another layer of green since that one was running out and why not? So you know that Mr. Met's my favorite. I'm not I'm not hiding that fact. But I'm wondering like if you don't care about baseball at all, who would you say the best mascot in baseball is if you don't have a fondness for any team in particular? Like I think Mr. Met's best, but I think obviously the Phillies fanatic has a strong argument for them. Who's your favorite? Who, well, no. Who's your favorite, and then who, who do you think is just the best? While not your personal favorite, you think they're the best. I'm curious to know.
and does our wee size sign it so it's worth a lot of money. Okay, we got the Loveland Frog with his mysterious electrical staff. He likes the reds. Do you like him? If you do and you want this uh, drawing, then be the first person to email me and uh, let me know a physical address I can I can uh, mail them to uh, email me at elfinkshow at gmail.com um, let me know where to send that drawing got some mail so Mr. Fuzztooth Mr. Fuzztooth is my stuffed animal companion. Um, I love him dearly. I don't talk about him on the show, but Eagle Eye viewer Greg from Massachusetts did notice him in the background some and sent me this gorgeous portrait of Mr. Fuzztooth. Uh, normally I don't like art that's not of me, but Mr. Fuzztooth always make an exception for him so thank you very very much Greg I'll get that in the gallery soon you might remember Greg did that one gorgeous And does he stink? What does he dream? What does he think? Can he draw a monster sitting in a sink? He's red and green, he isn't pink, his eyes are yellow, but they never blink. <laughs> 